the last video I was looking at the tabular data bound controls and in this video I'll be looking at the hierarchical data bound controls these um, they, they, they enable you to display nested items you know hierarchy of um, items in a file so and how was the best way to display the hierarchy of um, a, an item so the best way is to use an XML file so let's use an XML file to um, as an example so let's use this let's call this database file users instead of username let's call it users.xml so let's add it and um, all we have to do is now is just to add uh, um, xml if you don't know xml um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any it's nothing hard about it so let's call this users and um, we're going to have um, two types of users we're going to have the free users free and this free users we're going to have uh, their names so let's call let's start by just using their name that would be Richard Richard first name hand and uh we could say John John will be one of them too and uh Caro Caro and last person will be Mo so those will be the free users so now we have uh premium users premium users oh we can say registered it doesn't really matter so we call let's let's put some names there he need mercy uh, the then uh, last one Ali so as you can see it's a very very simple um, uh, XML file all we're saying is we have users and also we have two types of users the premium users and the free users so inside the free users we have four people oh yeah is that four yeah that's correct that's four people and inside the premium we have another four so now like, how do we use this uh, file in our so let's go let's save everything now let's go to our ASP the next let's now use an XML data source this is what we're going to use to connect uh, let's configure the configure the data source so it has me for the data file so the data file will be our XML it automatically knows identify all the XML so let's use that and uh, we don't have the path that we're going to be using I'll tell you what the path is that will be slash users because um, we're selecting uh, sorry all the let me show you I say users we're selecting all the data inside this user field that's what we're selecting so actually so that you can understand I'll show you what it looks like so now that we've configured our data source uh, let's connect let's uh, connect a control to our data source what can we use we let's use a tree because the two the two um, hierarchical data bound controls are the tree view and the menu so here I'm going to be using the tree view remember we used the menu earlier on in uh, one of, when we uh, begin our videos so uh, let's choose the data source here is the XML data source as you can see here this is the XML data source one so let's use that to configure unable to bind to data please check your data source and data binding um, why is why can't we bind let's check our data source again let's make sure that our database our data source is uh, where's our data source uses this XML what is the problem uh, uses it's got user user so have I made any mistake when I was configuring my uses that XML yes 
so I call I think I said user instead of users am I correct let's check ha huh. you see I made a mistake I used singular here and I used plural when I was configuring my database as you can see now uh, let's preview this uh, page we can see that we've connected it uh, to you see three members we have Richard we have we can't click on it we, you know so we have premium all this um, so that's how you connect to um, an XML file so let's try and use that for uh, a menu as well so connect to menu choose data source XML data source as you can see it automatically recognizes them so uh, as you can see free we have and premium so the reason why they call hierarchy is because they can actually let's modify the hierarchy of this let's say um, the free also have uh, let's say now let's say the premium also have a registered members as well registered members inside there so um, let's say the registered members let's give a name now say James and we have John and now let's use John again let's use um, Jason right so those are the range so now let's see how so as you can see uh, we have registered inside uh, so we, we can see the when we when we when we close this uh, node we don't see anything now we can close the registered node and just see all the premium so these are the premium these are all premium and they're also registered so James and Johnson the premium and the registered but uh, in it Messi D and Ali the only premium members so as you can see we can have nested data in our database and also we can do the same thing for here as you can see this premium and registered are James and Johnson and Jason so uh, that's the way you use the XML data source uh, the only two uh, the only data source I haven't talked about is the access the link the object which we're going to be covering we already covered the SQL data source the uh, XML data source and the sitemap data source so but these two we're going to be covering them in the near future so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I'm going to the next video is going to be how to bind data base to a data control uh, programmatically and uh, so just watch out on how to do that thank you